Hi, welcome back to another comparison video. My name is Cindy and on this channel I tell stories in The Sims and help you improve your gameplay. Christmas is approaching soon in like a month and a half from now and I am in the holiday spirit. I just want to say Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Yule to my pagan friends, Happy Saturnalia. Whatever holiday you celebrate during this time of the year, I hope you have a great one. In today's video, we're looking at Christmas, or Snowflake Day, or Winterfest as it later became known, in all The Sims games 1 through 4. Let's see how The Sims holiday traditions have changed and evolved over the last 20 years. In the very first Sim games, we didn't really have holidays per se, but if you were creative enough, you could make them happen. In the very first expansion pack called Live in Large, we were given a decorative Christmas tree that we could use used to summon Santa. I'm here with the Burb family, Tiffany, Brad, little Johnny Burb, and their dog Tucker, and we're going to use them as our, our example family today. So if we go into build mode and go under the decorative category, um, I usually go under all and then we can find the Christmas tree here. It costs 199 simoleons. It says since Roman times, trees have been decorated with lights to honor the gods of the harvest and light. Northern Europeans later adapted these rituals to fancy new Eastern religions. Made even more popular in 19th century Germany, some contend the tree is really a throwback to the mythological Norse tree named Id Idra- I'm not even gonna try to say that, okay? But you see it. So it gives two fun and a four room score. So to summon our jolly old house guest, we need to place the tree near a fireplace. I'm gonna swoop around here because this house that the burbs live in does have a fireplace somewhere. Where are you, fireplace? Oh my god, I can't get used to this view. Okay, here's the fireplace, and I'm gonna do a little rearranging. We're gonna move this table over here and move the tree right here. You also need a plate of cookies in order for Santa to come, but unlike the upcoming games, you can't bake cookies in The Sims 1, but you can buy them from buy mode. So if we go to the miscellaneous category, I'm gonna go to all and you will find cookies near the front of the catalog because they're very inexpensive. They're only 10 simoleons. They're called Granny Raymond's Holiday Cookies. Old Granny Raymond has done it again with a healthy treat for the holidays. Mothers love the all natural ingredients. Kids love them because they're sweet and chewy. Watch them disappear like magic, but leave some for Santa. And then it has the actual list of ingredients. I just love Sims 1 so much. It's so charming with the little details like that. So we are going to place some cookies out on the table over here. Now Sims can actually eat the cookies themselves, but we need to leave some for Santa, so hopefully our Sims don't go help themselves. The plate of cookies was actually a new type of food that was available for download on the Sims 1 website way back in the day, and then it was also included in the Live in Large expansion pack. Another thing about cookies is once you purchase them, they cannot be deleted without the use of cheats. So in addition to putting a tree next to the fireplace and also a plate of cookies out for Santa, the other requirement for him to actually show up is that all Sims in the household have to be in bed by midnight. It's almost 10 p.m. and I'm putting all the Sims to bed so we can get Santa to come. But one thing I found out while playing this is that you probably don't want to buy the cookies until after everyone goes to bed because some of their house guests immediately ate the cookies when they came over. I am going to buy another plate of cookies before midnight gets here. And here comes Santa. So at midnight exactly, Santa teleports in near the uh, fireplace and gives us a wave. Hello, Santa. He's going to come over. And of course, the first thing he's going to do is get himself some Santa cookies. Yeah, he's happy. He's gonna stand in the corner and eat his cookies. <laughs> also, when Santa appears on the lot, the build and buy modes will be disabled, similarly to uh, how it is if there's a burglar on the lot. He gave a jolly ho 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 after he finished his cookies. And now he's going back near the tree, hopefully to leave some presents for the family. Yes, there we are. Oh my gosh, he left a chess set for the family. This is a real gift for the household and he will leave anything from like a chess set to a new TV. There's many different things that he might leave. He will also leave little individually wrapped gifts for each of the family members. However, these don't really contain anything, but the Sims can open them up for fun. And he's just gonna leave them all around three gifts for our three Sims. Oh, he left four gifts. Oh, one for the dog too? Aww. <laughs> and then he leaves. He eats his cookies, leaves his gifts, and teleports away. Bye bye, Santa. Another thing about Santa is that he has no social interaction, so even if a Sim were awake, they wouldn't be able to interact with him. It's five in the morning and our Sims are coming downstairs, so I wanted to show you the open present. Uh, interaction. So I'm going to have each of them come over here and open one of these gifts that Santa left. 
it's Christmas morning here in The Sims 1, or as close as we can get to it without any kind of mods or anything. So everybody open your gifts. They shake it around, that's so cute, try to figure out what's in there. And then they open it, but there's nothing inside, it's just for fun. So you can also click on the Christmas tree and click open present. We're gonna have little Johnny Burb come over here and do this. And he just takes one from under the tree and shakes it around. It's kind of the same interaction, but you can do it directly from the tree. So even if Santa doesn't come, your Sim can still open gifts. There are no seasons in The Sims 1, so you can simulate a Christmas for them anytime you want. And that's pretty much the extent of Christmas in the original game. Let's go check out Sims 2. In Sims 2, Christmas returned with the holiday party pack and happy holiday stuff. The holiday party pack was the first ever stuff pack released for The Sims 2 way back on November 17th, 2005. It added over 20 holiday and winter themed objects, including a Christmas tree, holiday parties, and Santa Claus. This pack is also included in the Sims 2 holiday edition, which was also released in 2005. The pack was later reissued as the the Sims 2 Happy Holiday stuff, which was included in The Sims 2 Holiday Edition for 2006. Similarly to in The Sims 1 and The Sims 2, Santa Claus will appear, and in The Sims 2, his name is spelled with a K, not a C, if there is a Christmas tree on the lot and Santa cookies are baked. I'm here with the Roth family in River Blossom Hills, which is a neighborhood that came with The Sims 2 Seasons, and we are going to do Christmas for this family. So the first thing I'm going to do is go find the Christmas tree, which can be found under decorative plants in buy mode. And so we have a couple different trees here. So we have the Christmas tree, which costs 295 simoleons. The description says, since Roman times, trees have been decorated with lights to honor the gods of the harvest and light. Northern Europeans later adapted these rituals to fancy new Eastern religions. So it's exactly the same description that was in The Sims 1. And you can choose from either green or white. We'll choose white this time just to just to change things up a bit. And oh no, finding a place to put it's going to be the hard part. We'll put it right here in the entryway. Or how about right here? That's better. Here's a close-up look at the Christmas tree. The Sims 2 Christmas tree is only a decorative object, but you can turn the lights on and off. We'll have Stella come turn them on after she finishes gazing at the snow out the window. It's not even really an interaction. She just did it from there and you can see the lights blinking. If you leave the lights on for too long, it can catch on fire and burn down your entire house. So be careful and turn off those Christmas lights before you send your Sims to bed. I know I have personally had my fair share of Christmas tree fires in The Sims 2. What about you? Another cool addition to The Sims 2 with the holiday stuff pack is the holiday roast that your sims can prepare. But in order to prepare the roast, you have to place the cornucopia on your sims table. You can find the cornucopia under the decorative miscellaneous in the buy mode. It's called a touch of autumn cornucopia and costs 73 simoleons. In Greek mythology, the cornucopia is the horn of Amalthea, the she-goat nymph who nursed the infant Zeus. It is said that the cornucopia would continuously fill with fruit, meat, or whatever its owner requested. Also known as the horn of plenty, the cornucopia is the traditional symbol of an abundant harvest. Crafted in high density industrial wax, our version lets you experience a touch of autumn any time of year. We're just gonna place this um, on the table here. And now our Sim can go to the fridge and choose make a group meal of holiday roast. If you don't have the cornucopia out on the table, it will tell you that your Sim uh, is out of food or out the fridge needs to be stocked and it won't allow you to make the roast. I see some meat, some seasonings, some asparagus, carrots, and onion. Yum. Okay, she's getting ready to put it in the oven. There we go. Oh, she burned it. She didn't do a very good job. She burned the holiday roast. But you know, it's her first year cooking a holiday roast. It's all right, Stella. I forgive you. Here's what it looks like in its burnt state. So we're gonna serve that to the family, because why not? You must eat your mother's burnt cooking at this holiday meal. In addition to the holiday roast, another new food we have is under the dessert menu and it's Santa cookies and we have to have these Santa cookies baked and out in order for Santa to appear along with the Christmas tree. So here's what the preparation looks like. She just mixes all the ingredients up in a bowl and puts them in the oven and they actually turn out really cute. Here they go. I wish I could just dump my batter into a pan and it would make the shape of holiday cookies. Wouldn't that be great? Sims logic. And here they come. She puts them on a plate and where where are you taking these cookies, Stella? Where are you taking the cookies? No, you're not supposed to serve them. Oh my gosh, she's serving them. No, no, no. Don't serve the cookies. Um, here's what they look like. There's little Santa Claus, 
little snowmen, little trees, and little candy canes. I'm actually going to have her make another batch not to serve um, that we can keep downstairs for Santa because I'm worried the family are going to eat all these. So I'm just going to do, instead of doing serve dessert, I'm going to do make a group meal of Santa cookies. That way they'll stay intact. Because if Santa comes and there are no cookies left for him to eat, he's gonna leave the family a big old lump of coal instead of a nice present. Oh no, okay, fire, fire, fire. So this is what happens if you leave the Christmas lights on for too long, they will set on fire and it can burn your entire house down. This has happened to me so many times. Hopefully he can extinguish it. And hopefully no one dies in my Christmas video. Okay, never mind, never mind. We were able to put the fire out. And just to be safe, I'm gonna buy a new tree because I don't know if once it's burnt, it can still summon Santa or not. Um, and I wanna make sure he comes tonight, so I'm just gonna buy a new one and we are not gonna turn the lights on this time. Okay, now get over here and cook some Santa cookies. <laughs> when you just instruct your Sim to make cookies instead of serve them, and then they will just put them all down on a plate like this. They look really cute. We're gonna leave them there for Santa to enjoy when he shows up. Okay, here comes Santa. So it's 10 o'clock p.m. Santa just showed up. He just appeared in front of the Christmas tree. Unlike in The Sims 1, you do not have to have a fireplace and all The Sims also do not have to be asleep. He just showed up and here's what Santa looks like in The Sims 2. And Stella's right here. She's like, yes, he's awesome. While Santa's here, he's gonna go in and grab uh, a Santa cookie and eat it. Everybody's coming down to see Santa. They're so excited. Now, after he eats his cookies, he's gonna go in here to the tree, do a little ho ho hoing. But for some reason, after he eats his Santa cookies, I don't know, I guess it just goes right through him. He will incessantly use the toilet on your Sims lot. Giving a big old belly laugh, pissing in all your turlets. And eventually he's gonna leave a gift for the family. He only leaves one gift in The Sims 2. And sometimes it can be something really good, especially if your Sims are poor. So once your Sims have successfully seen Santa, then they can interact with him a little bit. They can talk to him, chat, they can give him a friendly hug, or they can play with him. The first time a Sim interacts with Santa, they will instantly become best friends, as you can see here. Even though he will not appear in the relationship panel and you will not be able to call him. Another oddity about Santa Santa Claus and The Sims 2 is that despite his gray hair, he actually has the face of an adult and the voice of an adult. It's not advised to make Santa selectable in The Sims 2 or add him to the family or do anything to him outside of his normal interactions because it can cause game corruption. His character file is the same for all neighborhoods. But if you want to play with him, you still can. Um, you can just hop into Create a Sim and create him because his Santa outfit and his beard and everything are available in Create a Sim. His facial structure is different from any of the default face templates, so it may be hard to kind of get his face perfect if you want an exact clone, but you can always download one from Mod the Sims that is an exact replica of The Sims 2 Santa if you really want to play with him. And once he's done with his laughing and incessant toilet using and leaving of the gift, he will just walk off the lot. Only, I don't think he left our family a gift. Oh my gosh. So I actually didn't notice this at the time, but the gift that he left for our family was this remote control car. So he will leave a single gift, um, usually near the Christmas tree. This family already had a remote remote control car, so I thought it was that one, but no, he actually left another one. So he can leave um, almost anything for your family. I've had him leave stereos, TVs, bookshelves, um, remote control cars. He usually leaves something pretty cool. And he doesn't leave it in a box or anything, he just leaves the gift out in the open like he did in The Sims 1. In The Sims 2 Seasons expansion pack released back in March of 2007, we got a new gift giving feature. While it isn't specifically linked to Christmas, in fact I use it all the time for my Sims birthdays, you can use it to simulate the giving and receiving of Christmas gifts. This feature allows Sims to give almost anything in the game as a gift to another Sim, as long as the object is placed in their inventory. So I'm going to take this toy car that Santa brought and put it in the dad's inventory here so he can give it as a gift to his son. So all we have to do is click on the receiving Sim and choose give gift. And then we can choose the gift that we want to give based on whatever is in the inventory. And we are going to say accept. And then the Sim will pull a gift box right out of their patootie and give it to the other Sim. And the other Sim will accept it. Now the gift is in his inventory. This is really fun to do at holiday parties and I like to make all of my Sims buy Christmas gifts for each other. It's just a fun little thing that you can do and sort of simulate 
Christmas gift giving. One thing to keep in mind about gift giving though is that the recipient can reject the gift depending on the value of the item and their relationship status. Sims with lower relationships will only accept super high value gifts, while Sims with extremely high relationship scores will accept even the most worthless of gifts and be happy about it. Oh, and Sims are more likely to roll a want to give a gift during the winter season. So in The Sims 2 with the holiday roast, gift giving interactions, the Christmas tree and Santa Claus, and the winter season, you can really create a, a nice little Christmas for your Sims families. Now let's go check out what Christmas was like in The Sims 3. So I'm here in The Sims 3 and I'm not lying when I say that I made a whole ass grocery list while I was waiting on this game to load. Man, I love The Sims 3, but it takes forever to get in here. We're here at the goth household where we're going to have a goth Christmas. But first, I have to cheat and make it winter. You can cheat and change the season in The Sims 3 by enabling testing cheats, then uh, shift clicking on the ground on a lot and choosing season and we can change season to winter. So Sims 3 is the first Sims game that actually introduced designated holidays. These holidays were included in the Seasons Expansion Pack, which was released on November 13th, 2012. I remember that day clearly because I could not wait to get my hands on that expansion. In the winter, Sims celebrates Snowflake Day, which is also based on Christmas. The holiday lands on the last Thursday of the season, and you can check when it's going to arrive by clicking on your Sims Career tab, and then the day circled in red is the holiday. Right now, our goth family has four days until snowflake day so if you hover over it it'll even tell you the name of the holiday that's upcoming two days before snowflake day you'll get a little dialogue box that says in two more days snowflake day will be upon us eat lots of food throw a party or decide on a venue to celebrate this joyous holiday among friends and family. This gives you plenty of time to start preparing for the holiday. A Christmas tree can be downloaded from the Sims 3 store as part of the More Holiday Presents free set. You can find it under Floor Lamps. It took me forever to find this in the catalog. The description says, Holiday Tree. Is it morning yet? What did he bring me? Is the big one mine? It better not be socks. The suspense is killing me. Gimme, gimme, gimme. So we're gonna put our holiday tree here in the goth house. I don't know where over here in the living room somewhere. I'm just gonna get rid of these chairs and lamp and crap and we're gonna put this here. Okay, perfect. The Christmas tree is only used as a floor light with a high environment score and it has no other interactions for your Sims. They can turn it on and off, they can set it to auto light, and that's pretty much it. Another cool holiday feature included with the Sims 3 Seasons expansion is the ability to add holiday lights to your Sims homes. So if you go outside and click on the front door of your Sims house, you can choose holiday house lights and you can choose hanging or strip. I like the hanging personally. And you can do any color you want. You can even choose a custom color if you like. Uh, we'll do purple for the gods. And look how pretty that looks. It is really gorgeous. I like the hanging purple lights. Those are my favorite. And you can hang these anytime during the winter season. This interaction will be available on the front door. At 5 a.m. on the last Thursday of winter, it is Snowflake Day. And you, your Sims will get a holiday bonus if they have a job. Gunther received a small holiday bonus of 3,168 simoleons. And then you'll get a box that says Snowflake Day has arrived. Share a friendly gesture with your neighbors, friends, or even to a stranger at the winter festival. Today is the day to spread some holiday bliss. So there is a winter Winter Festival, which is, you know, any of your Sims could participate in the Winter Festival. They don't necessarily have to celebrate Snowflake Day to participate in the Winter Festival. It's more just, you know, snowboarding, ice skating, things like that. So I plan to cover this more in the video I'm going to make comparing winter in the different games. Right now, I just kind of want to focus on the Christmas-like holidays in the games. So on Snowflake Day, your Sims will start to get wants to throw gift-giving parties, which is super fun, and we are going to do that for the Goth family. Your Sims also get the day off from work or school on Snowflake Day and all holidays in The Sims 3. And on Snowflake Day, all Sims are friendlier to each other. And everyone gets a plus 10 moodlet called Holiday Cheer. Gunther is feeling the spirit of the season. He's ready for a little peace on earth and goodwill towards Sims. This moodlet will last for the entire holiday. Unlike in the previous games, however, there is no Santa Claus NPC that comes to give your Sims presents, unfortunately. But we can throw a gift giving party over the phone. So I'm gonna have Cornelia go on her phone and choose Throw Party. And from the menu, we'll choose Gift Giving Party. And we're going to set the party for 10 a.m. I don't want to make it too late in the day. Dress code is casual, although you can do a formal attire or even a swim gift giving party, I guess, if you want to. And we'll invite all the family's friends. Your gift giving party is going to start soon. If you have the room, we'll send a pile of gifts to get you started. Don't worry, your guests will be bringing their own gifts. So the 
Household will automatically get a pile of gifts, which here it is right here. It just appears as long as you have enough space in the house. You will need a three by three empty space in the house in order for the gift pile to be placed down. If you live in a really tiny house, make sure you clear out some space or the gift pile won't appear and your party will just be converted to a normal household party instead of a gift giving party. On the Sims Wiki, it says that the three by three empty space has to be in the room connected to the designated front door, but I have found that's not the case because my designated front door is in this room and the gift pile appeared over here. And this is obviously not the front door. So I don't know what to say. Just make sure you have some three by three space in, in your house if you want a gift pile. Now our guests are beginning to arrive. Here is uh, Michael Bachelor. The first guest has arrived and it's time to start the party. To make it a success, make sure everyone's having a good time. And Michael Bachelor is going to go in and put a gift into the gift pile. So all the guests will come in, put gifts down in the gift pile. Some of them will bring dishes of food. Then you can go ahead and have your host sim call everyone to open presents, but if you don't do this, your sims will automatically all gather around and open presents two hours after the party begins. I'm going to give everyone a chance to bring their gifts in and see how the pile got bigger. Oh my god, a fire has started. Oh geez, hold on, hold on. Where's the fire? Oh, somebody's out here trying to grill who doesn't know how to use the grill. Oh my goodness, please extinguish this. Extinguish. This is the sims for you. In both the sims 2 and the sims 3, uh, a fire started on the lot. I'm just trying to have a Christmas party here. Oh, okay. All right. We're safe. Nobody use the grill. We've got spaghetti in here. Come on. All right. So it's been two hours since the party started and now everyone's coming to gather around and watch gifts being opened. Your Sims will go around and just take turns opening gifts. It's really fun to watch and see what they get because unlike the Sims 1, they actually receive something when they open the gift. And if you put chairs around in the room, they will all sit down and wait their turn. Okay. Who's going to open the first gift? It's going to be Mortimer. So what did you get, buddy? Oh, he got a teddy bear. You can tell what they got by the little icon above their head. And if it's a playable sim, it will tell you Mortimer Goth received a Wugglesworth Schnuggles bear. If it's not a playable sim, I don't believe it will tell you. But you can look at the little bubble above their head to see what they received. He got an umbrella. I really love this. I think this is my favorite part of the holiday. Oh, he got a an easel. He got an artsy easel. And let's see what Cornelia gets. She received an artsy easel. Wow, this family's got plenty of easels. Now Bella's gonna go open hers. I almost called her Bella Goth, but she is not yet Bella Goth. She's still Bella Bachelor in The Sims 3. And she received a teddy bear as well. Now it's Vita Alto's turn. She received, I don't know what the heck that is. Some kind of appliance or something? A Womrat cage? The gifts they receive are chosen at random, but children will receive toys and stuff. And they can receive either good or bad gifts. It's kind of, it's just random what they get. I think it's really fun to see what my Sims and their friends and family get for Christmas every year. The feature of the Sims giving each other individual gifts was reintroduced in the Sims 3 Generations expansion pack, which was released on May 31st, 2011. Just like in the Sims 2, the Sim must have the item they want to give in their inventory. So Cornelia has this football in her inventory. So I'm going to have her give it to Mortimer as his Christmas gift. So I'm going to click on him and it's going to be a friendly interaction. We're going to choose give gift and I can choose any of the objects in her inventory. I'm going to choose the football and then she's going to go find him. And it's a very similar interaction to the one in The Sims 2. She's going to give him a box. He's going to accept it. He says, what a lovely gift. Thank you so much. Sims are more likely to accept if they have a high relationship to the Sim who's giving them the gift. And the response of the Sim receiving the gift will always be positive, regardless of the value of the item. They can turn down the gift, but if they choose to receive it, they will always have a positive reaction. There were also no season or holiday specific foods added with the Sims 3 Seasons expansion pack. However, the base game does include a stuffed turkey that can be prepared at level 9 cooking skill and a pumpkin pie that can be prepared at level 5. So you can use these two foods to Together to sort of simulate a holiday dinner for your sims if you like. Food stands were also introduced with the Sims 3 Seasons expansion and these pop up on the seasonal festival lots and you can actually buy a couple of seasonal or holiday related foods here including eggnog and a gingerbread cookie. Gunther's gonna try out a delicious gingerbread cookie and he's gonna eat it on this ice cold bench that I know is gonna be cold on that booty. Woo! Looks good to me. Although there's disappointingly no Santa Claus NPC to come and give presents to your sims, you can still 
still make a nice Christmas holiday for them. In my opinion, the best feature is the gift giving party. It usually works really well as long as you have space for the gift pile, and it's really fun to see what your Sims get for Christmas. I also like that your Sims get a holiday bonus, a day off of school or work, and an actual recognized holiday in the game for the first time. So that pretty much wraps up Christmas in The Sims 3. Let's go check out what The Sims 4 has to offer. In The Sims 4 Seasons expansion pack, which was released on June 22nd, 2018, we saw the return of seasons and holidays in the game. Just like in The Sims 3, The Sims 4 also has designated holidays, but they are very customizable. They're worldwide events that repeat every year, and each one comes with its own set of traditions that define the way The Sims celebrate. There are multiple pre-made holidays, including Winterfest, which is based on Christmas. The traditions of the pre-made Winterfest in the game are decorating, festive spirit, opening presents, grand meal, and Father Winter. Of course, Winterfest occurs during the winter season, and once again, The Sims get a day off from work or school. To see when a holiday takes place, Sim... To see when a holiday takes place, players can check the calendar, which I think is a really cool feature and I love it. It was originally added with the Seasons expansion pack, but was later patched into the base game. However, you will still have to have the Seasons expansion in order to experience the holidays. Holidays begin at 6 a.m. and end at 2 a.m. the next day. The Sims 4 Holiday Celebration Pack, which was released on December 16th, 2014, adds a Christmas tree to the game, referred to as just a holiday tree. You can find it under Decorations, Sculptures, it says break out the holiday tree for holiday time or any time really, especially if your household decor has that whole snowflake and ornament thing going on. Power consumption rating of 10 and environment score of 2. Placed in the game, it functions as a dim floor light. It can be turned on and off and lit, but that's it. There are no other interactions for this tree. The Seasons expansion adds two more Christmas trees to the game. The first is the ever delightful evergreen holiday tree that's also found under sculptures. It says the do-it-yourself holiday cheer generator. Add decorations to bring the right splash of color to your holiday setting. So this is an undecorated tree that you can place in your Sims homes and have them decorate it together, which is really fun. Um, I'm going to move this sculpture and place it here. So not only can it be manually decorated by Sims, um, it can also have presents placed underneath it. So I'm going to have my Sims come down here and decorate with, um, we'll do red and gold. And I'll have everybody come and decorate it together in the family. I really love this interaction in The Sims 4. I love that you can decorate the tree together. So Olivia is the first one down and she's going to start putting ornaments on the tree. It kind of sucks that they disappear, but they'll reappear. And here comes the rest of the family in to put their ornaments on the tree. It's really cute and a fun family activity you can do with your Sims around the holidays. And we'll do a uh, topper as well. And then we'll do decorate with a tree skirt. I'm trying to do like a red and gold theme. And then decorate with, okay, I got the topper, tree skirt, and ornaments. So here's how the tree ended up looking when they were done decorating it. I don't know what happened to all those ornaments they were supposed to put on, but oh, maybe it's because I chose garland. I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention. But I like that you can choose like a color scheme and your family can come and decorate the tree together. Now you can also uh, light the tree, place a present pile under the tree. So I'm going to go ahead and place a present pile under or have Vivian do it. She's the matriarch of the family. So then the presents will show up underneath and you can also light the tree. So I'm gonna light the tree with the whole family. Then everybody gathers around the tree and we light it together. Yay. Um, there are also some other interactions. You can sabotage the tree and you can reset the decorations and there are also light controls so you can turn on or do auto lights. I'm gonna do auto lights, um, but that's pretty much it. You can also have your Sims open presents, open presents with, or add a present to the pile. And they can also sneak a present, which is pretty cool. The second holiday tree added in seasons is the Stroke of Midnight department store holiday spruce. For some, decorating the holiday tree is a paramount tradition. To others, what a hassle. Bypass all that extra work and invest in this artificial, professionally pre-decorated tree. It doesn't drop needles all over your clean floors. It doesn't need repurchased every year. And wait, do you smell that? Nope, not pine. That's the alluring scent of ease. Same environment score and power consumption rating, but your Sims don't have to decorate it. So you can just place this anywhere in your house and it's already decorated. Where can we put this? Let's put it upstairs. So here's how it looks. It's very pretty. 
And the only interactions that your sim have with this are to turn it on, auto lights turn off, it can just be turned on and turned off. The only one that can really be interacted with is the ever delightful evergreen holiday tree. Unlike the Sims 1 and 2, a holiday tree is not required to summon Santa Claus, who is called Father Winter in The Sims 4. But he will place gifts under the ever delightful holiday tree if it's present when he visits the lot. Yay! So on the morning of Winterfest, uh, we get our little pop-up box here that Winterfest is here, along with all of the traditions that our sims will want to complete. As you can see here, it says catch Father Winter and ask him for a present to satisfy this tradition. Father Winter appears at 8 p.m. near fireplaces. But honestly, you don't really need a fireplace for Father Winter to appear on the lot. But if you have one, that's where he will appear. So I'm going to uh, make some room for a fireplace right here. It doesn't really matter that much. We'll just do something that's kind of like modern looking. So if you don't have a fireplace in your house, he won't just appear, but he will come on in and just walk through the front door to hand out gifts. So it's no big deal if your Sims can't afford a fireplace. Each holiday in the game has a decoration theme. There is Nun, Love Day, Harvest Fest, New Year's Eve, Spring Spooky, and Winterfest. So of course Winterfest chooses the Winterfest decoration theme. This allows the current household to choose decorations to place outside their homes using the Attic Shack decoration box. You can find this box in activities and skills and recreation. It looks like some plastic Rubbermaid totes or something. And then we can have one of our Sims, I think Vivian's the only one awake here, to put up decorations. And if you choose this, the outside of the home will be decorated for winter. Um, this house only gets decorated along the fence and along like the bottom foundation, just because it's a modern house and kind of the way it's built. All other neighboring houses will also be decorated for the holiday as well, as you can see over here. So I think that's a pretty cool touch. The whole neighborhood becomes decorated for the holiday. And this satisfies the decorate tradition for all the Sims in the home. So there's also a winter holiday station in The Sims 4, so your Sims can listen to some nice holiday music while they do their traditions, open their gifts, whatever. I hear some sleigh bells ringing. Jing, jingling, jingin. Ring, ringling, ringling, ringing. I don't fucking know. Sounds like Christmas jazz. Another interaction that you can do on the Christmas tree is sing together and you can choose a song to sing together. The entire family can gather around the tree and sing a holiday song. I mean, I think they're singing it. They tried to sing it. I don't know. Alice is singing. Somebody's singing. I don't know. Wow, Vivian is intensely dancing to the Christmas jazz. And now we can choose the gifts and we can choose open presents with. So I'm going to choose the entire family. And this is just one method of opening gifts in The Sims 4. It's very similar to the gift pile in The Sims 3 where all The Sims will gather around and grab a present and open it up. So Eric opened his gift. And he didn't seem to like it. Who would give a one lump of coal as a gift? Eric, Eric isn't particularly happy about this. The gifts can be found either in the Sims inventory or the household inventory, just depending on what the gift is. The Sims can be happy about the gift they receive or not happy. And he was not crazy about the lump of coal. Uh, Vivian's gonna go next. See what she gets. Oh, she does not look happy. She got a wolf eel. Okay, Alice is opening her gift next. Oh, she likes it. She got something good. She got an easel. Now it's Dennis's turn to open his gift. Wow, he got an electronic upgrade part, a common upgrade part, a kitchen upgrade part, and a plumbing upgrade part, and he loved it. And now Olivia's gonna open up her gift. I hope she gets something good. She got a Blarfy and she will treasure it. So that's one method of opening the gifts. Everybody will open up one gift and they actually, you know, receive something. And they can also give each other individual gifts just like in The Sims 2 and The Sims 3. But just like in the other games, it has to be something that you can place in The Sims personal inventory. So I'm just gonna get a little horse toy here and we will place that in Alice's inventory. So you can click on The Sim and choose Give Winterfest Gift. And you can choose anything in in the Sims inventory, so we're gonna choose the pony toy. And it works really well in The Sims 4 as well. Same thing as in The Sims 2 and The Sims 3, they pull out a box and give it to the Sim. And you can see she really liked it. The receiving Sim may reject the gift depending on its quality, their relationship with the person giving it to them, and the type of gift giving interaction used. Because it's a Winterfest gift, I don't 
think they will often reject it. I've never had a sim reject it. If you have the parenthood expansion installed, gift giving from a child or teen sim will increase their empathy character value. The seasons expansion also allows your sims to cook a grand meal. Obviously that's one of the traditions for Winterfest. I just went through this whole thing and did it and realized I wasn't recording. So we're gonna do it again. If you click on the refrigerator uh, during the Winterfest holiday, you'll have the option to cook a grand meal and you can choose from any of these, whatever you would like for your sims to have. They can have a grand breakfast, a ham dinner, a fish dinner, a tofurkey dinner, or a turkey dinner. Once your sim has cooked the grand meal, you can click on it and choose call to grand meal. And then everyone can grab a plate and eat together and that will satisfy the grand meal uh, tradition for Winterfest. So it's almost 8 p.m. and Father Winter should be appearing here by the fireplace very shortly. Father Winter is generated whenever Winterfest arrives or any custom holiday that the player creates with Father Winter as one of the traditions. And there he is. He just shows up, gives a big belly laugh, and starts walking around to meet everybody in the family. And he's also going to put some gifts under the tree so now our sims can open these. So what I would normally do if I were going to play a family on Winterfest is I wouldn't put gifts under the tree. I would wait for Father Winter to come put them under the tree and then have my family open them. But you could do it either way you want. You can have them open as many gifts as you want. So your Sims can interact with Father Winter. They can uh, do friendly interactions. Right now he's going to do, she's going to do a friendly introduction. He says hello back. And then you can ask for present. Give me a present, Father Winter. Dang. Oh, and he's going to pull one out and give it to her. Oh, and it was was something good too. She said, whoa, Father Winter got Vivian a brand spanking new gift. It's so big it had to go in the household inventory. She got one London's choice. Oh my God, it's a new stove. He got that for her. She's a foodie. So that is something that she would really, really love. That's awesome. So in addition to asking Father Winter for uh, presents, you can also give him a Winterfest gift yourself. You can ask him to do a belly laugh. You can even romance him and seduce him and have his baby. But that is for another video. We're not going to cover that today. Your sim can also fight Father Winter for presents. You could try to get gifts by asking or you could just beat up Father Winter and take them. But beware, he might not like you after this and do you really want to be on Father Winter's bad side? I mean, I don't know. I just want to see somebody fight Father Winter, so let's do it. Alice Spencer Kim is going to go fight Father Winter. Oh, oh no, oh no. <laughs> is she going to win? I don't know, she looks like she's winning. Father Winter's got game from losing a fight with Father Winter. Wow, Alice did not think Father Winter had that kind of spirit. That left jab out of the gate? Yeah, that was not expected. Ouch. He's looking mighty smooth after that fight. He's like, oh yeah, I kicked your ass. Overall, I really enjoy playing Winterfest in The Sims 4. I love the gift-giving gameplay. I also enjoy the grand meal. That's very nice. And even old Father Winter. Overall, you can have a really nice Christmas holiday for your Sims and The Sims 4 as well. So that was Christmas compared in all four of The Sims games. There is a lot of content in, especially in The Sims 3 and 4. And I really like aspects of the holiday in all the games. The Sims 1 was charming and new. There was nothing else like it. It seems a little simple to us now because we have so much more, but at the time it was really cool. I love how you can leave the cookies out in The Sims 2 and Santa will come at night and leave a gift for the household. And I love the addition of individual gift giving in The Sims 2 as well that continued on through The Sims 4. In The Sims 3, we saw an expansion of gift giving with the gift giving parties, which I love. And in Sims 4, even more interactions were added, including being able to ask Father Winter himself for a gift or fight him for gifts. I also love the holiday traditions and being able to customize the holiday in The Sims 4. The grand meal is great. All of the interactions you can do with the tree are really cool. I think there's something to like in all of the games, but I'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment down below and let me know what are your favorite holiday traditions from all the Sims games. So just a quick disclaimer, I am only human and I am only one person researching and making these videos, so I try to bring you the most accurate and complete information I can in my comparison videos, but there's always a possibility that I've overlooked something, so if you know of anything I missed, please feel free to leave a comment down below and let me know. I appreciate you watching this video and I wish you a very happy holiday and happy simming. My name is Cindy and I'll see you with a new video very soon. Bye!